Hey guys, in this video we'll revise another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely configure content for collaboration. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So we've touched on that in one of our previous lessons, but let's review that perhaps. Set a print area. Let's go to the page layout tab and here you have the option to set a print area. So set area of cells that will be printed. Let's set this as print area. And when we go print this file and choose not to ignore the print area, you can see that only that will be printed. To clear that print area, we click it again and set clear plain print area. Perfect. Now let's save workbooks in alternative file formats. To do that, we go to the file tab, export. Firstly, you can export the workbook into a PDF, which is quite common, let's say, or you can change the file type and do some, let's say, older Excel file type or a text file or CSV and so on. So here are your options or you could click save as. And then you can choose the file type here and have some more customization options than available. So for example, when I click PDF, I have the options to optimize for something and a few other things. And there are also tools available and so on. Next up, configure print settings. So these settings are uh, quite similar to the page setup group but let's view them so we go to the print so file print we can set the printer the number of copies what to print so the active sheets when the print area is set then it will print only the print area unless we check here to ignore the print area or an interesting option is to print a selection so that means we don't have to like set a print area but simply select some cells go print and set to print only the selection like that let's go to print active sheets we can print one sided on both sides and so on if we have multiple copies of our file, we can set uh, how it will be printed, like collated or uncollated, the orientation, portrait and landscape, the page format, let's say, margins and scaling. So an interesting option is to fit all rows on one page. And as you can see, only one page will be printed. Perfect. And the last objective is to inspect workbook for issues. To do that, we go again to the file tab info and here check for issues, inspect document. Yes. And in the exam, you will be instructed what to inspect specifically. Then you click inspect and you will be you'll be asked what to remove specifically so you might be asked to remove the personal information in that case i would click remove all here let's close that and a few more options are check for accessibility so whether the content uh, that people with disab disabilities might find difficult to read we can check for that everything is Okay, but for example, when I add an image, so let's go to insert pictures, this device. Um, let's click here and insert some thumbnail. You can see that now here is an image. It is missing an alternative text, which is quite important for accessibility. 
and we might choose to add a description like that. Great, let's close that and let's delete this image and the last option is to check whether the file is compatible with older versions of Excel. You can select which versions to check and uh, like read the specific issues that would for example not be displayed in the previous version if someone opens your workbook in a previous version of, of Excel. So yeah guys that is all, all for today I hope you find it useful. If so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!